It's here, guys, the new Open Bible Redesign. Um, I want to say thank you to Nelson for sending this out. They've been very kind. Um, so let's jump into this. Now, if you guys want to fast forward, rewind, have at it. This might be a, a lengthy review for me because I love this Bible so much. And it's been around for so long that it, it just, there's been a lot of um, other editions that were made throughout the many, many years. And so they, um, they've changed things back and forth. And so it's kind of hard to get into all that without having a video that's kind of long. I will show some comparisons um, as we go throughout, but I have some places marked that I think will be interesting. So people um, can just, you know, there's certain books that people like to see, like the poetic books, things like that. So I'll have those marked and I'll show you guys. Here's the box. It is a um, just basic clamshell box. Just a box, but it's a nice one. And it keeps your Bibles sealed away if you want to put them on the shelf for a while or something. And use a different one. But there's the ISBN number for you. Now, it has retained all of the the um, study tools that have been there. Um, the index, all of that stuff is all still here, guys. Um, it's, it's the open Bible. It's just they redesigned the print with their new comfort print. It's a nine-point font. And the size of the Bible is about... Let's see, I'll show you the footprint. If you have the older one that was, you know, the one before this one from last year and the years before, it's about the same footprint, um, but it is thicker because they they used a lot better paper in this new edition. This one, um, I believe, has some really bad paper, a lot of ghosting, um, makes it really hard to read. But anyways, we'll jump into this one. So now you get a, this is the genuine leather. It's got a stitched perimeter. And it doesn't list what kind of leather this is, but honestly, it feels like a calfskin leather, possibly a top grain. Very nice pebble grain, very soft. Um, a good flexible card stock that's inside there. Um, you can see how it bends really nice and easy. It doesn't have any ribbing on the spine, so it's just the leather itself. It's kind of like a soft back, kind of not a lot of wording on here either. Um, I would like to see pronounced ribs. That's just my own, you know, taste and stuff. But you know, over time, this thing will work in and get really nice. And as I do use this, I will um, let you guys know if I've noticed any kind of weirdness or anything with it. But since it's brand new, I can't totally tell you everything. It does open up flat. You get good corners here. Nice. Just your normal paste down Bible, guys. Very lightweight, though. I like it. It's very flexible. Very nice. But it's so cool that it opens up flat. And my front page is always... always it's already been swallowed up, so that was nice when I got it. It was nice and straight. It wasn't like that, but this is a study Bible, guys. It's not a premium Bible. It's a study Bible, and I think they did a really well job. They did a great job, actually. I I was concerned that they were going to make changes that I was going to not like because of my own personal bias of, of you guys know how much I love the old ones, so I, I do have to say that they did a really, really good job with this. I'll open it up here. Now you'll notice they have this color palette of black and red, and it's like that through the Bible. Um, very nice. And the ink is super, super black. It's really crisp. You don't get a lot of, um, you at all, you don't get a, the consistency is great throughout the Bible. Um, these older, the older prints, you would get a lot of, like, the red would fade out and things like that. And this, you don't get that with this Bible. Very nice colors really like this Bible a lot, guys. Throughout the text, you'll find that it has pages where they just stopped. So at the end of books, you'll get a blank piece a lot of times. It's, you know, it's kind of, sometimes you get a little bit, sometimes you get a lot. And if you're one of those people that likes to write notes at the end of your um, books, you'll really like that. So you have all the same things, guys. How to study the Bible. You know, it goes into the King James, New King James. I mean, um, this is only in the New King James. It's 67 dollars and 99 cents at Christian book right now for the genuine leather um, but they're out until the 14th so um, they do have imitation leather and hardback stuff like that and as this guide to how to study the Bible if you'll if you're used to the open you guys will see things that are still the same it's just that they changed the the print is amazing their their new um, comfort print is really nice especially it's a nine point font but it actually reads really well because it, the print is so dark here is your topical index. You still have the study guide, um, a Christian's guide to a new life, um, seven topic study that goes throughout the Bible that you can follow. Good for newborn Christians and just anybody who wants to you know, get into a study. But this is what I love this Bible for. 
is the topical index. Uh, it's just amazing. I love their topical index. It's about 280 pages, 300 pages maybe. Just huge. It has a ton of stuff, and I'll show you here. Um, they took away the page numbers, though, so now it just gives you a topic and sections, A, B, C, like they always did, but they used to have the page number that ran down here. I kind of liked the page, num page number there, but um, not a biggie. It's still there. You still have our encyclopedia, and this is the most important part of this Bible, and it's there, and it's easier to read for me. Um, you guys can see here the old one it's like um the ghosting was just really bad on this older one the most recent and you can see how they changed it to where this is more like ants on page and you get here and it's nice and clean very well done black font hardly any ghosting at all guys it's great i really like it let's set this one back aside for a minute and then get back to this one See here, you got your encyclopedia, and then we we'll jump over to Genesis real quick. Now you can see these are what the books are going to look like when you go into them. It's relatively this; it's all the same stuff. They just change the format, look of how it's laid out, and color. It's really pretty. I like the dark colors; they really stand out a lot. And we'll get into the text here, and here's what the uh, major change they made: they are center column references now. So everything it has been taken, it used to be into verse references and definitions of words. Now it's all running down the center. You still got your study tools at the bottom for that um, study tool at the beginning of the Bible. So you don't get a bunch of commentary. You know, it's just the unstudied thing that they have through that. Really, really nice. This 9-point font actually reads really well, guys. Look at that. The ghosting is just, it doesn't bother me at all. I almost thought it was line matched, but it's not. It doesn't. It, if it was, uh, great, but it doesn't really affect it. The paper is very thick, and um, the opacity is really nice. I'm gonna jump over. What I got marked here. Here is the Book of Psalms. So I figured people would like to see what Psalms looks like. You lead in as normal. Get a large outline of Psalms breaks it down for you, and then this is how the layout looks of Psalms. We'll look from above, you can still get the verse by verse format, a nice clean layout. Um, just looks a lot better. And here's what I wanted to compare jump over here to Proverbs. As you can see, you get the verse by verse, nice clean layout. This is Proverbs and the old one. So you can see how the page is just full. And you get it to here, and it's so much more easier on the eyes. So big improvement on the aspect with this edition of the Open Bible. Now, they do have a cleaner look in the 1998 edition to 2000. This is the 1998-2000. had a little bit bigger um, font, but um, they don't make that one anymore. So if you want to find that one, you'll have to look it up. But what they did is they pretty much just took that kind of style and put it into this one and got rid of that uh, you know, older one that just kind of fills up the page too much, in my opinion. It looks a lot better in poetic books. Jump over here and we'll get into the visual survey. And the visual survey, guys, the ribbons... Um, one-sided satin ribbon really nice they're lightweight they're not going to dig into your um, Bible paper so be aware of that is really nice three ribbons to have in your study Bible is great that's what people have been asking for it's nice to see that they did that now they did make a change with this visual survey it used to be like a pink color and what they did is they went with the best one they had which was that study Bible edition from 98 um, that one had pink though instead of red and this is really nice they used the same charts guys so if you're familiar it'll be like that's cool but they used red for the lines in the map instead of black really nice and it's a huge step up from the one in um the older edition this older edition look at that there's no color uh, the color that they do have is almost faded out it's just like a peach pink color but tons of ghosting and just plain and then you get over here to this one and it just jumps off the page at you so really well done it's the same exact survey guys so you didn't lose anything so if you're afraid of that it's still there and it's just it's better 
There's another one of those blank pages like that. That's leading into the New Testament. There's Matthew. And I have, I think, Luke, yeah, for you guys here, so you can kind of get a good visual out of Luke. It's usually bigger than the other ones. The outline. It's very big for Luke. So you get all of this awesome outline if you're not familiar with the open. It goes slow for you right here. Just a really, really cool Bible. You don't get a bunch of, I call it hobbledygook. <laughs> There's not a bunch of hobbledygook at the bottom. Um, you know, a bunch of, uh, you know, teachings that, are, you know, those big study Bibles is just too much commentary for me and it gets a little loud. So this is, this is excellent. I really, I was concerned about the center column references, but I'm not now. It's beautiful. I like it. Let's jump over here to the red letter. Now, this red letter is really good, guys. It's red. It's a rich red. It's not like super, um, I would say like deep, deep red, but it's red and it's consistent and it's not pink at all. It's just red. I really like it. And you know, it's not fading out constantly. And the red in the old one, it just, ugh. There's places where it gets so bad that with the ghosting and it's so faded that you just can't read it too well. And my camera even makes it look better than it actually is because it, it will want to enhance around the edge of the letters. So very nice Bible guys. Super happy with what they did. So my concerns are no longer concerns. I'm happy with it. Very white paper. Um, it's not like yellow at all. It's just white and it's really thick. It does have a little bit of cockling, so um, be ready for that. It'll have a little bit of cockling. It's not a um, super quiet Bible, but that's never bothered me. There's the blue ribbon. Yeah, you can see the sparkle. And then you get the harmony of the Gospels and all the charts that have always been in the Open Bible. It's just so much better laid out with this color and that deep, rich black font. Love the ink. Very consistent all the way throughout. You get the prophecies fulfilled or not fulfilled still. The Messiah. So everything is still here, guys. All the Scarlet Letter of Redemption. A Guide to Christian Workers. Uh, um, help for Street Ministry. Things like that. Questions you may have if you're a newborn Christian. Or just, you know, questions you may have as a Christian. And then you get the huge New King James Concordance. It is... A great concordance I really like it and the way that they have this laid out with a color just like with the encyclopedia it's really nice it's so easy to read very very easy to read so it is a step up they have made huge improvements to a very loved Bible guys so I'm, I'm really impressed I'm happy with it and that's just that's not me you know my my um, love for the open is there you guys know it this is a good study Bible. They did, they really did. They, they, they fixed the things that needed to be fixed. There are, you know, a couple little things, um, but you know, that'd be nitpicking. Here's the, um, the, uh, font style. So if you guys want to read about why they went with the font style or how they did and all that, there you go. And then you get eight maps. These are the new Nelson maps that I'm seeing in other editions of their Bible. So this is what they go with. There is the whip stitched signatures. Um, stitching, Smith's on, so they whip around and go back to the other direction, so pretty cool. Very solid, solid built Bible, guys. You don't have to worry about it not being stitched now. Just a beautiful Bible. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. They did great. Um, the only thing that I see is that that gold is like a satin. It doesn't have like sparkle to it or anything, but this is a study Bible, so, you know, it's not a $200, $200, you know, premium Bible, but still, I, I think People might like to see the sparkle gilding, so I don't know if this is a new thing they're going with. You guys can let me know if your Bibles are like this, other Nelson Bibles, but yeah, it's just there. It's cool. Really like it. This, this cover's nice. Very nice. So, anyways, guys, I'll see you next time. I got another Bible on the way, so look forward to that one, and should be here soon, TBS Bible, so God bless, guys. I'll see you next time.